Welcome you once again to Stop Christ Without Borders. The day you discover your bloodline, hmm, something will break off you. It's very important to discover your bloodline. Hmm? Like I've said it already, there are a lot of people who are connected to the 12 tribes of Israel. You know, there are people who don't take um, the things of the Bible seriously. There are people who don't take the things of the Bible seriously. They think, oh, they came from somewhere, they brought a certain book to us and all that. No. A lot of people are connected to the 12 tribes of Israel. Um, if you've been on this channel, I speak a lot about you reading the Bible with your own eyes. You know, and if you have allowed yourself to do this thing, which is required of every believer, you know, I can, I'm, I'm, I can point a few places like um, before Jacob was about to die. Hmm? Before Jacob was about to die, he pronounced certain blessings, but also he spoke of certain descriptions of who the 12 tribes of Israel were. Each of those people, each of his 12 sons, there was something significant. There was a, there was a, there was a certain marker he used to describe them. Another place you can read, I think it's, it's in a book of Deuteronomy. No, um, before Jacob passed on, he, he, he said certain things, he made certain descriptions. He defined each of the 12 tribes of Israel and they had, they, they had, they had, they had specific things that were markers that identified them. And a lot of you, if you, if you, um, if it's something you really want to find, you start, you start, you start looking into your bloodline, and some of you will be able to identify some of these traits. You will be able to identify certain things that keep happening, you know. That that keeps happening from generation to generation in your own bloodline, and you'll be able to identify that not. And a lot of times, the reason why I keep encouraging people to read the Word of God is that as you are going through the Word, as you are reading the Word, if this is what you want to do, you want to discover which, which of the 12 tribes you are part of. If, that is, if that, that, that is your focus, if that is what is on your heart, as you are going through the Word of God, the very moment you come across that scripture, that line, that phrase, that that verse, look, something is going to vibrate inside of you to know that ah, this 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 thing seems seems like this is what is happening in my family. I've I've seen this pattern in my family. You, you listen. There's a way God uses the word of God to bring things to to speak to you. You know that ah, the way He's defining these people. I think this is where I come from. Yes, to discover this, you can't do it outside of God. It's God, you have to be in connection, you have to be in sync with God, like I said already. And I keep, I've been here so many times, encourage and urge people to read the word of God because there are certain messages God wants to bring to you, there are certain revelations God wants you to know, you know. There are people who don't take their things of God seriously because they think, that I'm just somebody, I'm just doing what I do, no. The day you discover which of the 12 tribes of Israel you belong to, something will shift in your mind. Something will break off you. Hmm? I keep saying this. So one of the, some of the places you can look at is how Jacob defined each of all his sons and the kind of blessings he gave to them before he passed on. Another area you can look at is what Joseph said. Before Joseph passed on, he also did a similar thing. He also said similar thing. He also said and defined and said, he spoke at length and said certain things. You'll be able to also, from, from Jacob's, before Jacob passed on, before Joseph passed on, he said a few things. Another place you can also read around in the book of Deuteronomy, you know, before Moses passed on, Moses also repeated some of the characteristics, some of the things that defined each of the 12 tribes of Israel. 
Moses did the same thing. Very important. Hmm? One God said when he was blessing Abraham, he said, what, I'll make you a father of what? Many nations. I, God, I will make you a father of many nations. And the, what, the whole world will be blessed out, um, as a result of you. A, con a, a whole world will be blessed because of your generation, the, the people who come after you. Very important. You have to identify which of the 12 tribes of Israel you are connected to. If that's your determination, if that is what is on your heart, God will reveal to you because he knows and he understands that. When you discover who and which of the 12 tribes of Israel you are part of, something will change in your mind. Something will change in your attitude. Something will change in how you, you deal with him. Something will change in your relationship with him. Very important. Each of the 12 tribes of Israel, there's a, there's a specific definition. There's, there's, a, there's a particular marker that defines them. Hmm? I don't want to state it here. I want you to go into your word. I want you to read your word. I've said it so many times and I've, I've used a lot of words, a lot of examples. I've received a lot of messages to urge and encourage people to go in your word and read your Bible. One of the things you have to do is ask questions, you know. Ask questions from your mother, your father. If your grandparents are alive, are alive, go to them and ask questions. Go to them and ask the history of your family. A lot of you have not done that homework. Hmm? So, so there are a lot of things that have been, that are hidden from you. They, you see, there, there, there are certain there are certain stories, certain information that are supposed to be handed over to you before those old people pass on. I'm telling you. There are certain information that are supposed to be told you. Look closely. You see, the way before Jacob passed on, he said this, you say that, you say that. The same way Joseph is passing on, he said this, he said that, he said that. It's very important. If you have grandparents in your home, go to them and ask them, Grandma, where are we from? Where is my hometown? Where are we from? Where, 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 where did the old people say we come from? Find out where you are coming from. A lot of, you see, a lot of the youth of today have not, don't know that information. And for some reason, the older generation too have not, that, um, nothing has pressured them for them to hand over that information. But in the days of old, it was a requirement that the old generation always, always carry forward. It was a requirement that the old generation, the grandparents, always told their children what, who they are, where they are from, where they are, their bloodline originated from, where they went through, where they went through. That story has to be told to the next generation. Because a lot of us, and when you come closely, um, not only this continent, the whole world, a lot of us are descendants of the 12th tribe of Israel, but particularly those of us on the continent of Africa, a lot of the ways that that information was handed over, it wasn't in written form. There were stories, fairy tales that were set and were told to the next generation, and the next generation also told to the next generation. And if you read your Bible there, you, 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 sometimes God makes certain descriptions that what you are, you are supposed to tell your the, you are supposed to tell the generations unborn how God did this, how God did that. You are supposed to hand this information to the next generation, and let them keep continuing, let them keep carrying it forward. So what they don't forget where they are from. But as time went on, there's some there was some kind of break and disconnect, you know, to where there are people, eh? Who don't even know the story of their bloodline? You are supposed to know the story of your bloodline. You have to go to your father, go to your mother. If they can't tell you, go to your grandparents and ask them, where are we from? Grandma, where are we from? Where do we come from? Where is our hometown? How did we come there? You have to go and ask those things because, it, you see, once you have access to that information and you go into the word of God and you are reading, certain things are going to synchronize, certain things are going to connect. I'm telling you. Thank you.